Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out that Jaspies nine box off-season baseball mixer. Version number two, featuring some nice stuff here, gilded luminaries, museum collection, so on and so forth. Here's, here's, here's a look. Some of those boxes back there, pretty nice stuff. Thanks everybody for watching, for breaking with us, for getting in on the action. Appreciate you. Now, we had a little promo. We took out a full spot. If you bought a full spot, you got a chance to win a full spot. So nice little promo. So let's gather these names here. And let's gather, and then congrats to the people who won their spots in that Leaf Exotic break. And let's grab the rest right there for that extra spot right over there. So a chance at a buy one, get one. Good luck. Name on top after seven. Lucky for somebody. Lucky seven for someone. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Charles, congrats to you after seven. An extra spot going your way. Now we can randomize you a team. We'll put the results right here. All 30 teams are in, no combos. New list for you right there. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Five and a four, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Five and a four, nine times. Got Charles down to Josh. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Good luck, everybody. We got the Friars down to Dem Bums, the Dodgers. All right, Charles. You got the Friars. Mark with the Royals. Do the Royals have like a nickname? Justin with the Cubbies. Andrew with the A's. I guess A's already a nickname. Jeremy with the Bronx Bombers. Bennett with the Giants. Gigantes. Steven with the Buckos. Charles with the Halos. Uh, Nathan with the Shy Sox. Josh with the Redbirds. James, you got the Strohs. Richard with the Twinkies. Josh with the Bluebirds. Stephen K with the Red Legs, Stephen S with the Brew Crew, A Shams with the Snakes, Todd with the O's, Stephen S with the Bow Sox, Andrew with the Ray Rayos, Rays, Charles with the M's, David M with the Fish and the M's, Stephen S with the Fightin' Phils, Stacy with the Nats, the X Line with the Metropolitans, the Bravos, and the Tigers, little cat team mojo. Michael with the Guardians, and the Rocks and the X-Line, Dem Bums is what they used to call them, the Boys in Blue, the Dodgers. Back in the Brooklyn days. Doing what the Dodgers do best, going to World Series and not winning them. Um, let's alphabetize by team. It's a long-standing tradition. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we're gonna have the break. So stick around, BRB. We'll see on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back everybody. Trade window closed, TWC. No deals were done. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So make myself a little room here. Big thanks everybody right here. Random team two, congrats again to the winners of the Spots in that Leaf Exotic Baseball break, the X-Line, Last Spot Mojo, Charles with the extra spot. So a lot of great stuff there. Thanks, everybody, for making this mixer happen. Where should we start? I think we'll start with that Ben Baller. How about that? I think autographs are fewer and far between in these two sets, so let's do these first. Thanks and good luck, everybody. Has there been any crazy news out of the winter meetings? They they started yesterday. Thought we'd have more. Thought we'd have more news today, but let's 
see, MLB.com headlines are saying Soto trade talk pauses for Yanks, but interest does not. I mean, who, who are the Yankees going to move for Otani? Uh, for, Ota for Soto. A report, according to a report, the Otani believed to have met with the Blue Jays. Dave Roberts declaring that Mookie Betts will be your everyday second baseman. Tyler O'Neill may be on the trading block. He seems to be the odd man out in the Cardinals outfield logjam, according to MLB.com. Atlanta, far from done after dealing for Kalanick, apparently. Atkins for the Blue Jays shifts media session while in pursuit of big time stars. Maybe Otani. Braves showing an interest in Otani, apparently. I mean, who isn't? What what contender is not showing an interest for Otani? I mean, you could probably connect dots, connect a lot of, you know, far flung dots together to make a case for Otani for any contender. We need the Otani domino to drop, though. Outside of Otani, I feel like the free agent class is not as... Uh, there's some solid players, but not as robust it has, it has been in recent years. Otani, I mean, which is good for Otani. He's, he's the big fish. But once, once that domino falls, then I think we'll see, you know, maybe some of the floodgates open a, a, a little bit. We'll start to see other free agent dominoes drop, and then probably more trades will start to happen. That's right, Jimmy. The last filler for Hit Parade is that certified box. We're holding at 15 left. If it doesn't sell out by the time I finish this break, which is probably going to bring me to closer to the top of the hour, we're going to call. We'll probably do it tomorrow. It's Adam Frazier. Three out of five, Adam Frazier. We're going to start the uh, mixer off with a train whistle. Who's got Seattle? David M. Got randomized Seattle. There you go, David. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! Always fun to get the train whistle. Is Kyle Hendricks to 99? Yeah, what is taking so long? I do like this uh, this insert set. I don't know if this is still a uh, you know pretty common insert, but I do like it. And there's Hendricks to 99. That'll be for Justin and the Cubbies. O'Neill Cruz, nice rookie card here. 64 out of 99 in that old design. 88? 87? Oh, actually, it would say right here, 87. That'll be for the Pirates. Steven Surrey with that one. Steven S. Ozzy Albies. 33 and 99. If the Braves have interest in Otani, imagine Otani on in that lineup. There's Seth Beer, rookie card to 75 for A Shams in Arizona. And an Otani die cut. Nice. Angels, that'll be for Charles. Behind Arzarena is Anthony Rendon. 15 out of 15. Nice low number for the Angels. That would be for Charles. 
Is that how it's gonna how it's gonna happen, Jimmy? Jared Kalanick leaves leaves the Mariners and all of a sudden becomes really good. All right, let's do uh, let's do cosmic. That's how it always happens. Um, no, that's not how it always happens. What about? Kettle Marte. No, he had, he's had a couple good seasons. Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis? Uh, yeah, Kalanick had a bad attitude anyway. Remember how he like broke his foot or his hand or something? Like, he like punched something or kicked a water cooler or something like that after a strikeout. adhesive on that pack. It's kind of funny how he's back in the uh, NL East. The Mets originally had him. So I, I wonder if he just becomes like a, a Met killer. Extraterrestrial talent, Gunnar Henderson. Your AL Rookie of the Year. Todd with the O's. And we got an autograph, Jordan Groshans. Nice. 35 out of 75, green speckle autograph for the fish. It's for David M. in Miami. Sanga Starry Night. We got an Ahmed Rosario, Blue Pulsar, 14 out of 99. Why he? Why he? He got traded to the Dodgers. I wonder why he wasn't on that on the playoff roster. A launch into orbit. You were on Alvarez die cut. Got another Gunner Henderson. We've got Aqua Shimmer Logan O'Hoppy to 199 for the Halos, Charles. Launch into orbit, Juan Soto, Max Myers. And there's Cosmic. Nice that we got the auto out of Cosmic. All right, let's go back in time to 2021. This Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Box, HTA, whatever you want to call it. Five autos of this one.
I guess we'll find out who the 2021 rookies are. There's five in here? There's three in 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if it's the weather, but... Maybe I've been talking a lot. Throw it as a little, uh, little dry. All right, good luck, everybody. That's red, uh, no, it's magenta. All right, we got Luis Garcia to three ninety nine. Stacy with the Nationals. These refractors aren't numbered. Brian Hayes is a rookie in this. Nice. There he is again. And here's our first autograph, Josh Fleming. As much as I want to see this Pacers Celtics game again, I know what has happened. Let's, uh, what about. Fire up some MLB Network. Let's get some, uh, let's absorb some MLB news here. Tampa Bay Rays, Andrew with Tampa Bay. Hmm. The George Brett documentary. He went to uh, high school just up the street from Jaspies, sports cards and collectibles. The same high school as Lars Newtbar. And the other autograph, nice, is uh, Johan Ramirez. The font is kind of small and kind of weird this year. <laughs> Rookie auto for the Mariners, David M. with the M's. Mariners have some nice pitching. I think they're hitting is what they're what they're going to be looking for this off season. As Chisholm's a rookie in this one. That's right. Joey Votto to 199, Reds, Stephen K. And we've got a uh, Julian Merriweather, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. Josh Yost with the Bluebirds. Refractor Jazz Chisholm for David and the Marlins. Nice. Even better. And we've got a Cardinals autograph. We've got... It is Roel Ramirez. Josh Yost with the Cardinals. Dylan Carlson, a refractor, for, also for Yost. Yeah. 
And we've got a blue auto, Brent Rooker. Blue rookie auto for the Twins. Richard. Richard Hastings with the Twinkies, Twin Cities. 150 out of 150. All right, now let's move ahead a couple of years to 2023. Topps Chrome Baseball. The MVP buyback possibilities here. So uh, the X line has the Braves. You want to see some, uh, you definitely want to see some uh, Acuna Juniors and Angels. Charles, you obviously want to see some Otanis and then take them to a participating hobby shop. Part of the MVP buyback program. For those of you who haven't seen the commercial, uh, go to our Twitter, at Jaskies Breaks. You can see our uh, top buyback commercial along with a couple other, other card shops in there. Greg Amsinger of MLB Network has created a pie chart. The winners of the Otani sweeps, he's given it 30% to the Dodgers, 30% chance of the Blue Jays, 20% chance of the Cubs, 2% chance of the Angels, 5% to the Giants, 10% to the A's, 1% Mets, Mariners, Yankees. Very unofficial. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? I, I do see the Pelicans advancing. I, I watched the uh, watched the end bit of that Pelicans uh, Kings game. Might might run into each other in that uh, in that tournament. Lakers Pelicans. I'm assuming Zion's Zion's looking healthy. No, did I say did I say A's? 1% Mets, Mariners, Yankees, 2% Angels, 5%, this is very unscientific, Giants, 10% Braves, not A's. All right, we got this guy, E guy, Rosario. 161 out of 299, purple speckle autograph for the Friars. Charles with the Padres. Yeah, race. Okay, then, then we've all been misled to thinking that he cares about winning. Because he goes back to the Angels, and that was all just did Adam. It just got hurt. I mean, he's got to you know he's been there. All that thing to do is like Lawrence. It's Royce Lewis, future stars insert. I think he's going to Dodgers. If it's not the Dodgers, I think the Angels are in the picture. I'm going to say that he's not Dodgers. 20% Angels. And then split the game. I do not think he's going to Chicago. Nice. An Acuna refractor, Josh Exlein. Part of the buyback program, I think the refractors are a little bit more. I, I forget what the pricing breakdown is. And there's just the base Otani. That's going to go to Charles. Oh, you saw the Spurs game. Who does he win? Didn't happen? What's, what happened? You know, they load managing Wemby already? He's Max Free to 125. I saw him for a little bit in Summer League. Saw him in a Summer League game over, over the summer, believe it or not. And we got Matt Walner. It's another twin for Richard H. I don't know if these I don't think these count for the buyback program. Rest day. Rest day.
Got a Francisco Alvarez, Future Stars insert. No, 80s, 90s? Guys weren't sitting. Guys are playing 82 games, 48 minutes a night, 100% max effort. Michael with the Guardians, with the Bo Naylor autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. And we've got a Volpe refractor, nice. That's for the Yankees. That's going to be for Jeremy. We'll and a Kodai Senga. Uh, what are, these are the radiating rookies. I think these are relatively shorter printed. That's going to go to the X line with the Mets. Last spot mojo. A pretty nice season last year. We're saying that Yamamoto pitcher is, he, is even better than him. Projected to have an even better season than him. And last but not least, a Corbin Carroll refractor for A Shams. Your NL Rookie of the Year. That's in the top loader, right? Yeah, that, that's just a bit of dust in the top loader. Not on the card. Let's get into some Sapphire from back in the day. Back in the day, like three years ago. All right, next box. Good luck. We're getting there. Bartola Cologne. And we got Kenley Jansen. Dodgers edition of Kenley Jansen going to the X line. 19 out of 45. And behind Baez is two out of 50, Reese Hoskins autograph. Nice. That's Steven Surrey with the fighting fills. He's got a cool auto. And Jairo Diaz. All right, how about some museum collection?
Ooh. The frame. Nice. That's the case hit. I'll still hold out hope to the very end, Jimmy. All right, there's Yoshida. Matt Chapman to 99 for the Blue Jays, Yost. Sal Perez, Vlad Guerrero Jr. for Yost. And Aaron Judge for the Yankees, that's Jeremy to 299. All right. Behind the reproduction is triple relic and autograph signature swatches. The wizard, Ozzy Smith. You're a wizard, Ozzy. It's going to go to Yost and the Redbirds. Excellent penmanship there. Will surely be, if he's available, a keynote speaker at Jaspi's autograph camp. 78 out of 199. And behind Bobby Wood Jr. is Hunter Brown, 43 out of 99. Three color quad relic for the Strohs, James M. and the Astros. Behind Ichiro is a Jimmy Rollins relic, 25, uh, 29 out of 50. Hall of Famer? He's a little ways away, but I think I saw an MLB Network thing. It was Brian Kenny, I think, we were interviewing Jimmy Rollins and he was talking about his potential uh, Hall of Fame candidacy. All right, lucky enough to get a frame in a single box. Behind Bryce Harper, it is... It's Trey Turner, his teammate. 13 out of 15, silver ink autograph. Kind of a cool-looking auto. Simple, but cool. Going to Stephen S. And the Phillies. Nice. All right, Tops Chrome Black. I'm going Gilded, closing with Luminaries. That's my executive decision. Christian Pache, Casey Mize, and Zach Ranke, Astros edition to 25. It's a hitter. It is an old school hitter, Johnny Bench. Cincinnati Red Legs, that'll be Stephen K. Wonder how many, wonder how many encased Johnny Bench cards I could fit in one hand. All right, gilded. Smoltzy to 99, Romy to 99, and Max Muncy. Dodgers, the X line. Nineteen out of fifty. Kind of has weird numbers, like a low average, a lot of homers, but a high walks a lot. Walks or homers. I mean, strikes out a fair bit, but sort of a weird, weird split. If you can get that average up a little bit, be a big part of that team. And then we got a Juan Soto Nationals edition to 25. That'll be for Stacy, 
Romy will go to Nate. Smoltzy will go to the X line. Then the framed auto will go to. Ooh. We'll go to the Rangers. Pudge. Two out of 25. Texas Rangers, that's going to be Charles. There you go, Charles. Final box. Ninth and final. It's going to be another Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. Five out of 15. You got a Hall of Fame inscription right there. 2,460 hits, I would imagine. Yeah, number three career hits total by a switch hitting shortstop. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice break. What is... What's... Ozzy Smith doing these days? 68 years old, still with us. Is he doing like post playing career? Oh, upon retirement, Smith took over blah, blah, blah. This week in baseball, late 90s, color commentator, local Cardinals radio or TV games. This and that. Did some work for CNN SI. Remember CNN SI? <laughs> Back in the late 90s? Blah, 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 blah. blah. He was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame by receiving 91.1% of the vote. As it happened, the Olympic torch was passing through St. Louis on its way to Salt Lake for the 2002 Winter Olympics. Then he served as a torchbearer with Rams quarterback Kurt Warner that evening. He was inducted. He compared baseball experiences with characters from The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Blah, 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 blah. Statues. Bush Field. This and that. Smith opened Ozzy's restaurants and sports bars in 1988. Started Youth Sports Academy in 1990. Became an investor in a grocery store chain in 99. Wow. Of those businesses, Youth Academy still remains open. Restaurants closed in 2010, changing ownership and locations once. Numerous radio, TV commercials in the St. Louis area. Authored a children's book in 2006. Launched, launched his own brand of salad dressing in 08. He's a busy dude. Hmm. In 2023, Smith returned to his alma mater as his statue in Baggett Stadium was re rededicated as part of Ozzy Smith Plaza at the facility's entrance. I guess, I guess he's keeping busy. So there you go, gang. A very nice break. All right, good night, X-Line. Thank you for getting in. Quick little recap. I think it was a pretty solid break overall. A lot of great stuff. Got the frame out of the museum collection, just one box. There's the other Ozzy Smith. Corbin Carroll. I like seeing the MVP buyback players, especially that refractor Acuna. So a lot of great stuff. And that Adam Frazier is out of five. All right, thanks everybody. That was, do I have, do I have any other ran randomizers to do? No, nothing, nice clean break. That was Jaspie's nine box. MLB off season baseball mixer, random team number two. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.